biscuit reviews from an American that you didn't even ask for. What's up, everybody? I am Adam Richman, and welcome to Biscuit Reviews from an American that you didn't even ask for. And today's biscuit is the legendary Jersey Cream Biscuit from Boland's Bakery. Now, Boland's was arguably the largest bakery in Ireland in the 19th century, and in fact, they not only had the bakery, they were known also for Boland's Mills. They sold not only baked goods, but the flour and all the accoutrement necessary to produce your own baked goods. They had facilities all throughout the city of Dublin, and while they originally started on Capel Street, they eventually moved down to Grand Canal Street. In fact, the original Boland Bakery now stands as the Treasury Building, and in fact, Boland Bakery and Boland Mills played an incredibly important role in the famous 1916 Easter Rebellion. Eamon de Valera actually used Boland's Bakery as a headquarters and as a means of surveying the firing line with 120 men in the 3rd Battalion as the British attacked from the River Liffey. Now, being that I'm from New York, I feel it's important that I clear something up. These are called Jersey Creams. I'm here to tell you it has absolutely nothing to do with the great state of New Jersey, Bruce Springsteen, Chris Christie, or the Turnpike. Not at all. This particular jersey refers to a particular bailiwick in the Channel Islands. What's a bailiwick? What are the Channel Islands? I'm glad you asked. Bailiwick literally means an area controlled by a specific bailiff, someone who was the representative of that area to the crown or to the larger government. So, wick meaning village, bailey related to the bailiff, this village was controlled by this bailiff. And the Channel Islands were actually located between England's south coast and France's north coast. There are other Channel Islands, Jersey just being one of them. Jersey cream in general is one of the most sought after ingredients for just table use throughout the UK. It's obviously the main dairy center for the United Kingdom. Now, while they no longer are using that kind of cream for commercially sold Jersey cream biscuits, that is obviously what they are going for, two sandwich cookies with a vanilla flavored cream in between. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with biscuit reviews from an American that you didn't even ask for, let me break it down for you. I will be trying the biscuit dry, trying it dunked into milk, dunked into coffee, and dunked into tea. The tea today is legendary Yorkshire gold. Yorkshire, where my great-grandfather William Davies hails from. Shout out Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. And the coffee today comes from New York City's 9th Street Espresso. This is their La Finca Soledad from Guatemala. Really rich, really, really delicious. And this milk is actually almond milk this episode because I'm changing it up on you. Still a delicious, delicious ice cold glass of white wonderful. So without further ado, let's see how this cookie crumbles. The child proof it? How you go child proof cookies? Okay, we finally got it open. Whew, I thought I'd be opening like aspirin or something over here or like <laughs> something illegal or illicit. For reasons that I do not know, the biscuit says finger on it. I will look that up. I will do a follow-up video explaining this. But yes, the biscuit says finger, which is presumably what you use to take them out of the package. And I guess one could say that if you gave this biscuit to a friend, you just gave them the finger. I know this. some people say split it and scrape. But I'm going to try it just old school. Okay, the biscuits are very much that faintly honeyed, typical kind of brittle school biscuit you would get, but there is such a lovely kind of vanilla feel to the cream in the middle that once you eat and it all mixes, it's actually more pleasant than I thought it was gonna be from that first incredibly hard bite. I remember first biting in going, this tastes like chalk, and then eventually the flavor sort of develops as you work it around your mouth. Still not the best cookie I've had dried, but not nearly the worst. And so I am going to give the Jersey cream two dry cookies. 
I have a feeling this one can withstand a lot. Much like a screen door on a submarine, the milk is highly ineffective. It does do a little something with the cream, making it creamier somehow, but not enough to really make a big difference in the eating experience of it. I'm going to give the Jersey cream two and a half cups of milk. While the hot liquid of the coffee did wonders for the biscuit, the dark richness of its flavor didn't really work very well at all with this sort of light custardy vanilla flavors of the filling. Really jarring and not pleasant at all, in my humble opinion. Therefore, I'm going to have to give the Jersey Cream one and a half cups of coffee. I will say this, they are one of the sturdiest biscuits I've ever seen for dunking. They do not fall apart, and I have to give them a lot of credit for that. Ah! There it is! Fittingly, one of the most legendary biscuits from Ireland works best with tea. And it is wonderful with tea, particularly wonderful with this tea. There's a faint orange note, even though there's no bergamot in the tea, but somehow it all works together and it really brightens the flavor of the cookie. And again, I want to praise the cookie's construction because it is durable enough to stand up to dunking and still give you a little bit of crunch when you bite into it. I loved it in tea by far better than either of the two beverages or dry, and I am going to give the Jersey Cream three cups of tea. Well, there you have it, and there are my scores for the Bolin's Jersey Cream Biscuit. Do you agree? Let me know. Do you disagree? Let me know. If there is a biscuit that you love, let me know. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, and remember that whatever you eat, may your life forever be sweet. I'm Adam Richmond, and I'll see you next time on Biscuit Reviews from an American You Didn't Even Ask For. Bye for now.